Welcome to TechSource.tv. My name is Dan, and today we're taking a quick look, and also our first look, of the uh, Cubitech. One second. Magic Cube AIO. Now this is a full tire chassis that holds extended ATX motherboards and ATX motherboards, so uh, lots of room in it. So let's check this thing out. All right, so let's unbox this thing. Um, what can I say about it? The packaging outside looks pretty cool. I'm just gonna, while I'm talking about that, I'm just gonna undo the the nice uh, tape it has on it. So it's got a nice picture of it back here. It's got specs on the other side of the actual box. It's got my shipping labels, <laughs> which won't come on yours unless you get it shipped. So, and maybe the yellow packing tape is uh, unique as well. All right, so when we open it up, First thing we find is the accessories box. Gotta love the accessories box. It says the Magic Cube AIO. So let's take a look at it first. We find the owner's manual. Oh, we got a bag of goodies. So in our bag of goodies, we find, let me sit down, uh, M3 screws for 2.5 HHD, okay, hard drive. Hard drive rubber, okay, so here's your rubbers. 6-32 screw B, whatever that is, M3 thumb screw, okay, M3 L6 screw, okay, 632 screw for 3.5 inch hard drives, okay, uh, M3 L6 motherboard standoffs, so your motherboard standoffs, and we find M3 L6 screw, so these are for your motherboard standoffs, and PC speaker and a Allen key, cool. I've never seen that in the case, and Allen key. Cool stuff there. So, um, definitely the owner's manual will tell you about all that, what all the codes and what the hard drive names mean. So, let's go ahead and unbox this. Codes. So, that's a very odd uh, style of packaging. Now, this, this specific case has come all the way from China. Yeah all the way from China. That's pretty crazy. So, and just these little pieces of foam protected it. The box came via DHL, came actually no dents or anything, considering most DHL trucks are really beat up. Um, but, looks like it's made it its way over here to Canada really well. Let's get it out of here. It doesn't look like that big of a case, considering my, my main case is quite large. Getting stuck on stuff here. Awesome. So one of the coolest things I want to note about this case is ah, getting shocked. It's an all aluminum case. So it's super light, and that's that was the coolest thing I noticed when I picked up the box for the first time when it was all in there. I was like, wow, this is really light. Um, but it's great though. It's a really light case. So we got this front panel here. It looks like it's removable, and there's ventilation underneath it. It's all thumb screws. Super easy to use. Um, also, it has two USB 3.0 ports in the front, two USB 2.0s, headphone, microphone, hard drive activity, LEDs, all that, power button, reset button. Looks very clean, but at the same time, kind of really funky. Um, we've got the Cubitech logo here on the side. So this is our side panel. Looks like a no real wasted space on this case. So on the back here, we find a 140 millimeter fan, four water cooling tubes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight expansions. Uh, where your aisle shield plate will get installed, standard PSU will get installed here, your ATX one on the bottom. You can also remove this plate, so you install the plate first, then you slide in your power supply, which is great. Um, one improvement, I'm, one really cool feature I noticed with this case, it's got these really nice thumb screws all the way around. Now, the last loom case I checked out was our mini ITX PC that we built for uh, uh, our Christmas computer, and it did not have these. It had little tiny screws that would strip very easily if you over tighten them. These little thumb screws actually give it a kind of a cool look, and also it makes it really easy accessing the side of your case. Now, if you're not a, um, if you don't know much about aluminum cases, they're usually very, very um, clean looking cases, and also the brushed aluminum loves scratches and fingerprints. So, you wanna be careful with them. So let's slowly fold that down there. Let's take a look on the inside. So on the inside, we have 240 millimeter intake fans. Check that out right there. We have those two. We got 
huge amount of room in the, behind the motherboard tray. I can shove my entire hand. So, and room to spare. So lots of room. Don't have to worry about that. Uh, there's lots of room on the inside. It's very just clean and basic. Your DVD drive actually goes in the bottom. Your hard drive's mounted on top of this. There's a dust filter for your power supply. All your mounting and all your like all your front panel connectors are all black, which is nice. Nice rubber grommets here. Um, now the only problem I can have, see with that because of them so far being so far out and they're not multiple stages of them is if you don't have like a full size ATX EATX motherboard, uh, it might be a little bit of an issue. Um, actually, just noticed, holy crap! This case comes with all the fans pre pre included, which is great. So you don't have to actually go out and buy any fans for it. it comes with all the Cubitech fans. They're all 12 volt fans, it says here, and they're 0 .03 amp, well, 0 0.3 amps. Looks like we got an LED one at the top, which is kind of nice. Uh, do we have dust filters in the front? Yeah, we got a dust filter in the front, so all your intaking fans have dust filters, which is great. Overall, it feels like it's built really well, and all the fans got great airflow, and it's uh, really nice. Hmm. So it looks like a really excellent case, guys. Definitely check around, stick around for a review. When the review is out, there'll be an annotation on top of this video. So anyways, uh, please remember to stick around, watch more TechSource videos, and share it to your friends. See you guys later.